80 health is not too bad. We can actually just explode the ghost. <laughs> I don't remember them doing that in Ghostbusters. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 20 of this Let's Play of Gordian Quest. My name is Gracian. Thank you so much for watching. I know this playthrough is becoming quite a bit longer than I expected, but we just keep going. We're just continuously going and going and, and winning, and I, I don't know. This team comp is just working well for me. Um, also, I figured out how to avoid dying to sudden poison and such, so that's good. We've got a lot of renown saved up. Now, we did start this map out with a couple exhaustion points. That was uh, one of the effects of starting here, so we do have to go uh, down here and get some camping done. So that'll be nice because we'll be able to hopefully scrounge for a couple supplies and then get all this exhaustion gone. Catherine can use a little bit of healing. So let's go down here and do some camp shenanigans. Okay, so it's a couple of things we want to do here. We do want to pitch a tent. Get all of our chuckles out. Um, probably use Kudo for that. This is a good use of, of this. I think I'll use that. Because we are going to... We probably get another fate, depending on the node we go to. Find a random item. Okay, so we've got our might buff for the next fight. Uh, it's a lot of healing, but we won't need that. So we want to draw two, draw two. We're looking for foraging cards. Okay, so we found some crappy greaves. It's okay. We can keep doing that, actually. Oh, it costs us uh, two supplies. I probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Rest. Draw one, okay, recover 15%, remove one exhaustion per hour. Increases a hero's skill rank by one, gain three exhaustion. It was all exhaustion. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Let's have these two do a chat. Mm, oh, we could get a, another fervent prayer. I wonder if it stacks. Redraw a skill. No, I don't want to do that. Just pass an hour here. Do another chat. Oh. Am I not allowed to choose who the chat topic is? Start a conversation with another hero. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why I'm not allowed to switch that over. So Catherine's full health. So we just need uh, Kudo here to get all of his exhaustion gone. Increases a skills rank. Well, this is a pretty good one. Um, I'm sorry. This goes up to... Wait, three times? Oh, because... Okay, yeah. Let's do this one. It's really strong. No, I don't want you two to chat. Ugh. Dang it. Okay, so we've got rid of all of our exhaustion. Everyone's full health. We did not get a second uh, stack of might, so it's not for four encounters, unfortunately. But that is okay. So I think we go this way, get our fate back, and then not get this uh, curse here. So let's go this way, grab a fate. And we have, you do a double take as you see something inc incredulous in the distant sky. You make out the silhouette of two figures on a flying carpet. In the blink of an eye, they have disappeared from view. A lucky sign, perhaps? We can add a node modifier. Area drops consumables, but is occupied by humanoids. We can add a modifier to find more gold, or we can gain a fate. Uh, let's do the humanoids one. So people are here now. Okay. Sandworms, cactus, and people. Let's go down to the next event. Climbing over a ridge. Okay, we've seen this one before. Um, oh boy, I don't... This one's dangerous because we, we don't need anything. So if we get the good outcome, nothing happens. So let's just do this. Okay, now, for, now we're going to go here. We don't have any supplies. So 
but it is a fort, so we should be able to buy some supplies here. So we gained exhaustion from that, unfortunately. But here we go. We can buy all of these. That'll that'll do us for a little bit. Let's grab all these incense. What else do you have? We need all of your stuff. I'm just going to buy all of your consumables. Augur's orbs are pretty cool. Gain two avert. Salvage. Socket. Enchant. Hmm. So we can do what? Change the change the sockets? Yeah, we can. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. We can enchant something. We can enchant like a common thing, right? We could take like one of these really bad belts. This is already enchanted. What does it cost to do? Unpredictably modify. Add a random property to a common, raising it to magic. So this takes dust and five gold. I guess we could try it and see how strong it is. Plus two cold resist. So these still kind of suck. <laughs> um, okay. Anything we want to enchant that doesn't have one yet? This is a really good piece of armor. This shield is really good. It does have an enchantment. This does not have an enchantment. Let's see if we can... Making it stronger with a possible drawback. Sure. Start battles with one vigil. Okay. All right. And we have... We could do another one. Grants talent quick reactions. I don't know what that is. Poison stacks you apply are reduced by one. Oh, cool. Well, we don't care about that at all. What else can we do? Plus one maximum HP. Okay, that's not was not worth it. Um, okay, I think we'll probably stop there now. I might do some salvaging. If we go into our equipment here we can mark things for junk with middle click so let's see here this is oh, that one's possibly useful plus one dex these boots do nothing for us and yeah, let's just salvage the stuff that we're not going to need Does anybody need a better pair of boots? No, we're good. Okay, so we can salvage that stuff. So we can head back to the shop. We can go to salvage. And then all the things that we have marked as junk will be broken down into parts. So we might be able to use those at some point. So we'll do that. Um, did you have anything else we wanted to buy? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Yeah, let's leave. Now, we did get one exhaustion, unfortunately, because we ran out of supplies. It is going to continue to be a problem. We may have to plan on going this way, buy some more supplies from this next forge. So let's head on down here. This is an extremely regular encounter here with no, no modifiers and just some wolves. Okay, rolling in. This wolf is pretty fast here, but we can block with Alphonse. Now, Catherine rolled the highest initiative. That's never happened before. So, Catherine. Catherine doesn't usually go first. There's a lot of damage coming in here. We do seem to always start with this avert thing, which is pretty helpful, and we may actually need to just go ahead and use that right off the bat because there's kind of a lot of damage coming in. She's going to use both of her avert up this turn. And these two are going after Alphonse, so we're going to have to make sure he... Actually, if we move him over here, uh, but then a third attack will hit Catherine. Hmm. That's all we can do this turn. That was a bad turn for card draw here. The other thing we could do... Yeah, if we move this guy over... If 
we move him over to here, then, and if I move Alphonse over to here, pretty sure these guys both whiff now. Yeah, they can't hit anybody. Perfect. We might as well use these. We get strategy points. Who knows what'll happen? Okay, wolf number one's gonna miss. Kudos turn. Leak of blood. Yeah, those are good spots. Pitchfork. Just swap these two. That's a lot of guard. That's a lot of guard. Okay. That is extremely powerful. Oh no, is he calling in reinforcements? I thought this encounter would be extremely easy and normal, but these guys are really tough. These are really tough. Cheat death. On death becomes a spirit. If not killed, will revive with half HP at next turn. What? Thorny. Yep, yep. Gains thorns. And then Titan deals more damage and has double the HP. Oh, that's the problem. What? What kind of modifier is that? Pack leader. Other allied beasts gain nine critical on round start. Oh, that's why they do so much damage. Oh. Okay, that explains a lot. So this wolf really hits like a truck. 15 vulnerable though. So we do have a shield block. Uh, that's a lot of defense and we have armor so we won't lose it. So man, this is gonna hurt though. Um, goodness. Enfeeble. Okay, that'll make him do less. Okay, cool. So we're actually only gonna take like three actual health points of damage now. That's quite helpful. Every time you heal an ally, they gain three might. Maybe we don't want this in our deck. It takes up a spot. All right, Alphonse is not in danger. These guys can't hit anything, so we might, we might lure this guy over into the gas trap. That'll make him do less damage even, even more, I think. Oh no, he was already enfeebled. Now he's just enfeebled for 12 rounds. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Okay. So we're doing little bits of damage here with our blood pools. We could put more blood down. Probably a good idea. This hits all enemies. Crimson Tide. So actually, it's probably good to do this Crimson Tide to vulnerable everybody up and then we'll Frost Beam for like an incredible amount of damage. Why does this do so much damage? This is incredible, I love this card. Good Lord, Kudo. This wolf's name is Tomb Pod. The numbers in this game are really starting to get high, aren't they? Like these attack damage numbers are, I mean, it's like half of my health on a single hit. Uh, this is a lot of damage coming in over here. Now this one's still not doing anything, so we can ignore that one. Let's get, oh, heavy block. That's a good one. We don't have any armor though. So we're gonna lose our guard as we get hit. So really, Can't even kill anything. Oh, but uh, Kudo might be able to. If he can move people around. Yes, he can, but so this wolf will get to go, but does nothing, cool. Really should deflect just in case. I just, I don't, I don't trust it. Okay, Alphonse, so we have a lot of traps here. A lot of traps, so let's use the crosshatch because it's random. All right, so they're back there. Let's slap a tripwire and caltrips, try to move this wolf into it. Um, that means we need one here because Kudo has a melee movement, so he can't move this one. So we'll have to swap this one and this one, which will kill this wolf over here. And then we'll swap this dire wolf to here. He'll be pulled forward and take a bunch of damage. 
Perfect. And then we've got a poison trap. We'll just slap that, you know, here. Oh, we're so close to killing him off. Oh, we've got, we drew a lure, so we can actually do this now. All right, that was big damage. All right, so we did draw our blood gush. Now we could probably just use this to kill everyone. I mean, honestly. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, he's gonna turn into a spirit. On death becomes a spirit. Er, wait, blood pool. Do we leave him like that, maybe? Okay, so now, okay. So now he's a ghost. He's a spooky ghost for a turn. 80 health is not too bad. We can actually just explode the ghost. <laughs> I don't remember them doing that in Ghostbusters. We gained three levels from that fight. So that fight was, it was a common fight with no modifiers, but we got a million experience from it. Okay, we got an Iron Quiris. Uh, grants Reinforce. Gain two armor, expand. Plus one guard with strength. Plus one guard with dex. That's pretty cool, actually, for a common. That's a candidate for enchantment, I think. Um, let's look at our skills real quick. Do, do, do. I always click on the wrong thing. Alphonse. So where did we put our new tree? I don't remember. Man, this is a mess, isn't it? Assimilate. Remove a skill from your deck. Gain a bonus based on the card's stat, color, and rank. So... It, uh, so we could get HP for a red card. Initiative for green. Max SP for blue, but it's not very much. And others. Do I want to remove anything from my deck? I don't think I do. He's got a pretty nice deck. Like, it's... It's well curated. Let's head over this way. Sabotage. Um, Pick a cell with a trap. Clone a temp copy. Okay, choose one trap in your discard pile. Put it on the top of your draw pile. That's not necessary. Every time you plant a trap, add another trap card of the same type into your discard pile. Um, then he would just get more and more traps over time. But he would also have... Expend a card. Yeah, let's use this one because we can get more free traps. Okay, so let's master a skill. Can we master that kind of stuff? No, we can't. Oh, crosshatch. Oh, can I only target within the same lane? Base values increased by 40%. Damage stat scaling increased by 25%. So we could just make it stronger or we could make it... Oh, it's not that much stronger. Oh, yeah, this is not worth it for, like, a little bit of damage. So let's take this one. That's a lot. Okay, and then we can grab another Sabotage. Uh, this was pretty fun. Three Poison is nice because it expends right away. And then we're out of skill points. Kudo. Where's your new one? It's up here. Where do we want to go? There's blood magic up here. Maybe we'll go grab a blood. Oh, can we upgrade this? Oh, shit. Yes, please. Okay, here's some blood. Uh, something on round start, a random enemy with bleed takes damage. Nope. Apply bleed to an ally or self. Deal two damage, two times. Potent. Nope. I want to apply bleed to other people. What's rage do? Consumes all fury. Gain 12 guard. Recover HP equal to bleed. Uh, on round start, a random enemy with bleed takes four damage. Retain. I don't. I. I. I don't know how to give them bleed. Ah, oh boy. Let's redraw. Deal 13 damage plus 11 damage for every bleed on target. Hmm. They suck. So I'll take this Void Nova. Uh, 
Uh, let's boost a card's values. No way, we can't do this one again, can we? Oh, we can. Well, yeah. Okay, Catherine. We are... God, where are we? Talent trees are ridiculous. Okay. Uh, here's Holy Warrior stuff. Also Spirit Healer stuff. I think we might want to head over to this, though. Or do we? It's kind of... I don't want to... Nodes are a little wasted. Let's grab this. Holy Warrior. 17 damage to all units in a line. Cleave. Whenever you gain root, gain four might. Oh, oh. She does root herself a lot. Stat point. Um, max HP. I mean, do we want another talent slot? Even though it's only tier one. I mean, they're pretty useful. Plus one card draw on your first turn. Item cards gain plus one rank applies to heavy armor, gloves, and boots. Plus four maximum HP. That's something we could use. Um, let's put that in. She does have heavy armor. So now this is a plus one rank. So I think that probably means... I don't know what that does, actually. I, just, I don't know. Rare boots. What else did that apply to? Uh, heavy armor, strength-based headgear, gloves, and boots. Strength-based headgear, gloves. This requires strength, and this requires strength. Okay, so these are also being ranked up. I don't know how. I guess maybe the explosion card got ranked up. And then this doesn't have any anything on it to rank up. Now this, I don't know if it was already maximum rank or if we just went from three to four. Let's go back to her talent tree. One more point. Maybe we want to grab a few more points of initiative. We could go here, and then that gives us a nice spot for a, a grid that we want to get into from that side. All right, so let's do that. Let's check everybody's initiative bonus. We've got 19, 17, 31. Wait, what? How did that happen? What in the world's going on? Oh my god, I don't know what happened. Well, not going to complain. Weird. So now I need some on the other two, actually. Okay. So back to the map. Let's go to this event. Come across a triangular obelisk. There's a Vanayan symbol on each side etched into the stone and painted a particular color. So let's touch the symbol in blue. I know we have a number of blue sockets that are empty especially on Catherine yeah there's a lot of blue sockets empty yes okay so let's do blue sockets so we got some gems we got um, non-white cards are converted to intelligence with in with 25 percent increased stat scaling okay plus one intelligence plus one oh shit okay take those all right Catherine um Non-white cards are converted to intelligence with an increased scaling. So we could do that with this. So now it's going to be... So it's seven... Oh, but these this card doesn't scale super well. Anybody else have a skill? A skill with a blue socket? Uncanny reaction. Well, that's not helpful for us. I think his dex is way higher. Yeah. It would just be her reflect. Can you do that to this? Now, this is a white skill, right? Eight, three and eight thorns. Three and eight thorns. It doesn't change. Okay. But we can still give her the plus one int. And then you two are both at an odd number. So let's give Alphonse here plus one int. Very cool. Okay, so now we want to head on down past these supplies and then buy some supplies at this forge. Not getting a lot of experience here, but we need all the supplies. Uh, what do we have here? Attached skill gains a rank. Cool. 
I'm gonna grab a few of those. Plus one dex. Hmm. Okay, so let's go back in here real quick and let's take a look. So I cannot tell what's green. There's plus one dex. Attached skill gains a rank. Oh. Armor up. He doesn't really need that. Reflect. That's maximum rank. Explosion could gain another rank. Cool. Okay, what do we have here? Plus one dex. Does she even need dex? Not really. What do these other ones do? Non-white cards now. Attached skill grants three critical on use. Against one agility on use. I will save those for somebody else. I think she's she's good. Kudo doesn't really use dex. Alphonse uses dex, so. I really wish I wasn't colorblind. Okay, so I think that's good for now. Okay. So we can move on to this battle down here. Now this one has crates, consumable items, but we have traps, burning ground, humanoids, and germination cells. Jeez. Okay, we rolled well, or they rolled poorly, or both. That's a lot of stuff going on, so we have to get out of here. Uh... Get our armor up here, because we're going to take a couple of hits. We get might when we root. So we actually get stronger when we root ourselves, and now we can do pretty good damage here. We just do a little bit, just because. Alright, Alphonse, now you are poison spit poison spit so we do have to move him forward which is not a great spot for him but these crates are blocking him for now so we do want to put a bunch of traps down we have uh well this guy's weak to poison so we may want to oh cross hatch uh i don't want to use that i don't want to replace these burning grounds those are gonna be actually really useful draw a card okay so we have poison poison Kudo has to move, but there's going to be, wait a minute, wait, but there's going to be poison. The only safe place for him to move is actually here on this trap, so that's not good. So I guess one root and ten vulnerable. Yeah, so... Oh, we purged the root, but not the vulnerable. Okay, so we just got to keep putting defense on here. We're still going to get hit pretty hard. Actually, really hard. Uh, oh, geez. Okay, well. At least he has armor, so. So nothing. I guess that doesn't help at all. Oh my god, there's no room for the rest of the enemies. Holy waves. We have more damage coming in on Kudo. Now he's in burning ground now, so he's got to move again. He's not rooted, fortunately. Burning ground here, so we have to remember to move Alphonse. Create two burning ground on two random cells. So they already have it. No one's even going to hit her, so she can just go full offense this round, which is pretty fun. I guess I might as well use this because it'll just refresh the burning ground. So we gotta get out of here. There's in spit. Okay. Now, 
Kudo's turn. And we have... Oh, we've got the Blood Gush. Is that so strong? Do I want to try to give anybody... Vulnerable or anything first? I mean, this is just... This is insane. He's not dead. Hey. What's he going to do? Oh, he's already taken his turn. So we got to kill him. Pool of blood, sir. A weird fight. Super weird fight. Do we have a way to heal before we, uh, yeah, we do. Heal 5 HP. In your lane, heal self and adjacent allies. Okay. Is this character adjacent? No, it's not. He's not. So we gotta go over here. Is poison grind if you end your turn it? I guess it doesn't matter. We did it. Oh my god, the leveling. Oh, a flail. Shattering strike, plus two melee attack damage. Oh, that's a nice weapon. Uh, 17 damage. To, okay, okay. And then we got a bow. Range attack damage. Grants cover fire. Apply in feeble. All allies in target's lane gain seven guard. Okay, cool. And we have a tincture. Gain five armor. That's pretty useful. Actually, super useful. Let's actually pop that on Catherine right now. This is probably less useful. Anybody else need something? Immunity. I think that's probably it. Okay. So we got some gear. Uh, what is Catherine using for a weapon? Oh, yeah. Her uh, flame pillar. Wand. Now, if we... So, okay, so the problem is if we put this flail on, she loses that plus one card draw. Uh, I guess we don't need the burning ground. So, yeah, I think this is probably better. Her really good flame cards are the ones from this ring and these gloves. Uh, we don't want to lose these. But I think this is probably good here. So we actually have non-white are converted. Okay, and then they scale better. But this is... Wait, what is this? What does this rune do? Oh, that's okay. Converts to dexterity, but she she sucks at dex, so we don't want that. Attached skill grants three critical. Yeah, we'll just give her that. That's fine. And then we have non-white cards on this compared to intelligence skills. Well, but her strength is also quite nice, so there's no reason to use that. And then what else did we pick up? Oh yeah, we get this iron mail here that we don't want to use quite yet so let's give Catherine a couple of skill points she's got another talent tree here another tier three talent slot here uh how can we get i could put it here yeah and go right into it holy warrior let's draw a card okay probably another heavy block And then another talent, two. Now she's our tank, so really most of her skills we want are gonna be over here. Um, oh, here's the regeneration once per turn, but it's only one health. And at this point in the game, doesn't seem like it's worth a slot. Every might on you is increased by 50%. What the fuck? Okay, so she's gonna roid out and beat the shit out of everything. I mean, she already was, but now, like, it's there's no arguing with the fact that she's going to destroy literally everything. I guess we'll try Malediction. I don't know how to make people bleed. I just want people to bleed. Maybe I have to combo it with somebody else who does bleeding. Let's 
try malediction. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's put it down here. Let's learn a skill. Let's learn a... I don't know, man. Probably try to get a blood. Apply bleed to yourself and an ally. Intrinsic potent expend. I don't want that. I don't want these. I'm just gonna grab a respect point. Holy shit. I wanna make things bleed. Okay, malediction. Convert bleed to poison. Apply one poison. No. Uh, passive. I don't need more passives. I've got too many. Randomly convert one bleed to another debuff. A random chance may result in a minus one or plus one of that. Remove one bleed and convert it to burn. Regain six HP. I guess I'd gain three AP. Oh. For every three bleed you apply, target gains one burn. Remove one bleed and convert it to burn. Oh my god, let's take a respect point. I don't understand what to do with him. I don't understand. Okay, so we want more uh, sabotage here. Let's put it down here. Uh, I want that talent. I can't reach it. Oh, here's another one over here. That's not a great spot, though. I guess down here. I'll grab him a stat point. And then we'll grab him a sabotage. Another poison, sure. Oh, these are connected. I'm dumb. I could have just grabbed that. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I think uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. We're all out of time, so please join me for the next one. We will go and fight this Lich boss that may or may not kick our asses. It's level 49, and we're level 36, so it's got a 13 level lead on us, which is a third of our levels, so... It's 33% stronger than all of our heroes, which is not good. So uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you on the next episode.